Aurora Valley Castle. Um, we have a family member that lives here and she just took us up and down and uh, we had a lovely lunch at the pantry. And um, we went into a few of the shops. Really enjoyed the um, hardware store. Yes. McKinley, Sharp and McKinley. Sharp and McKinley bought some antique, uh, loaded with antiques. So it's really not a hardware store, it's really an antique shop. So we bought a couple antique locks and uh, rat traps. <laughs> <laughs> Never know what you might need in Chicago. And um, we had a lovely then, chat with yes. uh, Mr. McKinley. Right. And what a dear. Man. And we had a lovely dinner then. We went to um, Anzac. Anzac. And, and uh, some very fine food. And one of the things we have been wanting to do since we got to Northern Ireland was to hear some traditional music. So we were thrilled to find that they were having that this evening. And um, we're just really enjoying it. It's having a, a Guinness. And uh, uh, we got here early, so we have a front row seat for the, the traditional music tonight. So it's been a, a, a really a great day. As we haven't left yet, we're already talking about when can we come back. So <laughs> yeah, it's been wonderful. And although you've only witnessed a slice of life, I leave you with the traditions and hopes of a town very much in the present, where locals, settlers, and passing tourists share a smile and look to the future without forgetting the past that left us being Bally Castle. <laughs>